This camera is gonna make a movie like you have never seen before. This is the LSST camera. That stands for Legacy Survey of Space and Time. This is the world's most powerful digital camera. Now, last time I was here at the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory in Northern California, this was up there. It's down here because after 20 years of planning and engineering and testing, it's finally ready to make that movie that will show scientists a look at the universe like they have never seen before. There's a lot to be impressed by when looking at the world's largest digital camera. It's complete with the largest lens in the world at five feet across. The camera is the size of a small car and it weighs three metric tons. But the real wow factor is the camera's resolution. At 3,200 megapixels, the LSST camera can spot a golf ball 15 miles away. And it's that clarity that scientists say will help create one of the most detailed maps of the sky we've ever seen. So detailed, in fact, they're calling it a 3D movie, one that will allow them to dive deeper into the cosmos than ever before. What a survey means is that instead of our telescope and camera looking at individual particular objects. We're going to get images of every part of the available night sky. We'll see billions of galaxies, billions of stars, millions of objects, asteroids in the solar system, and that will enable a really fantastic range of different scientific investigations. In some ways, the camera works a lot like the one on your phone. Light passes through three lenses and a set of filters before hitting a focal plane that captures an image. But unlike your phone, the lenses don't focus the light on their own. The camera is designed to work together with the telescope. Our telescope actually has a somewhat novel design. It has three mirrors. And the mirrors collect the light and they do most of the job of focusing. The lenses, their primary job is to make sure that different colors of light from the same object end up in the same place in the focal plane. Now, the other really interesting thing I wanted to point out here is on the focal plane. On those 201 sensors, you might notice that there's two different shades of blue. The reason for that is they had to place the order for those sensors from two different companies in order to get them done in time because they're so specialized and so hard to make. That shutter is actually so big, it had to be broken down into two pieces just to fit inside the camera. Now it takes just 0.9 seconds for the shutter to either open or close, and it's gonna do that a thousand times every night. Astronomers and physicists around the world are lining up to see that 10-year movie. In addition to helping them discover new stars and galaxies, they think it will give them new insight into dark energy, the force that's causing our universe to expand, and dark matter, an invisible substance that scientists think make up about 80% of the matter in our universe. I think we have a lot of discovery potential to see things that we don't anticipate. A lot of that is because our capabilities are new. Next month, the camera will be packed up, put on a special charter plane, and sent down to the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile, where it will spend the first few months in a clean room a lot like this. Scientists will be testing and reassembling it. Then they hope to start that 10-year movie in the summer of 2025.